Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Star Wars Force Link 2.0 action figure unboxings. Today we're going to be looking at K2SO from one of my favorite Star Wars movies, Rogue One. This is a new Force Link. I'm curious what the, uh, the audio is going to sound like on this thing. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully they use clips from the movie and not weird other voice dubs, but we'll find out. Take a look at the outside of this packaging. There it is, Star Wars K2SO looks good. I like the paint they did on there. It's a nice painting of him. He looks like he's ready to punch something. There he is, K2SO. This is a figure we've seen before, so it's not brand new. He does come with a blaster, though. That's kind of cool. He finally gets a blaster. I like that a lot, because the original figure came with a weird harpoon thing they called a grappling hook. Um, Star Wars Force Link. Use the thing. Put it on your arm. Do the thing. $30. <sighs> hey, look! Zero to three sad babies are very happy that K2 finally gets his blaster all right guys time to open this thing up i gotta mention the amazon links the ebay shop the spread shirt shirts and hats all the different ways you could support the channel but the most important one is to rate this video thumbs up or thumbs down depending on what you think of this toy and to watch it all the way to the end that's that helps a lot more than you'd know so just saying if you want to support the channel that's the number one way to do so. If not, I'll put Amazon links and stuff down below. If you guys want to... Oh, yeah, this feels different. <sighs> feels lighter. Hmm. We're going to do a little comparison here. But, yeah, if you guys want to support the channel, plenty of ways to do so. Patreon. <sighs> all that good stuff. <sighs> oh, I see a difference. I see it. No, just kidding. How are his knees? How are his knees? Hmm. Let's take a look at some close-ups here. All right, guys, here he is, K2SO. I think he's looking good. I like the little paint and stuff they did on him. Um, little, little specks of orange there in the shoulder cuff. Very interesting, very interesting. The Imperial logo on both shoulders. Looking good. He doesn't hold his blaster very well. Maybe that's why they never gave it to him. Uh, there are some fake metal scuffs with silver paint there on his knees. See that? And, it's kind of, and also on his little ankle joints, too. His feet look a little different. Mm. Someone got green paint on his foot, though. Somebody got green paint on this one's foot. Sorry for the blur. But that green paint probably came from that Force Link logo right there. Huh. Funny. Um, so, he does look good. I just got, I'm curious like how he stacks up and compares to the one from the Rogue One toy line. And, again, little differences. They did the same thing with the paint. They did the same thing. Oh, the orange color is definitely different. This one over here, the old one, was more orange. This one's more yellow, which I think actually might be accurate, a little more accurate. It was kind of more of an, a yellowish color. Uh, so, the, yeah, this newer one, I think, is a little bit better. The head sculpt might even be a little different. Need that or got not such a best one over there. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing, though. Oh, yeah, look, there's way more detail in here than there was there. Um, yeah, that's, how about the feet? How's that working? Hmm, I can't quite tell. Let's do it this way. Oh yeah, way more detail on the feet now. How about way more, but a decent amount, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, look at those little, like, lines and stuff. You don't see that as much on this, do you? Uh, I guess you do. Yeah, it's there. Okay. Either way, so almost the same figure. There's just a couple little differences here and there. It does come with a blaster. Blaster did not want to hang on to that. It didn't want to sit in his hand very well. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys see any major differences. Maybe I'm missing something. Leave it down in the comments below. The head does kind of swivel on its own ball joint. I'll probably look at the new one rather than the old one. But it does, like, its own movement, and then it also turns on top of that. But see that? You can, like, move it around all kinds of different ways. You can give him all kinds of sassy poses just with his head. It's like, what? Say what? You know, he does a lot of cool movements. How are the Imperial logos in the other one? A little trashy. A little trashy. These ones are more, like, fresh. Fresh Imperial logos. So that's a big difference, too. Uh, he does look good. He does not stand very well at all. He just doesn't. Oh, finally. Got him to stand. Got him to stand. 
Yeah. It looks okay. Again, he doesn't hold the blaster very well, but it is nice that he finally gets one. <sighs> now, I should mention that he is technically five, six POA. So again, the blaster falls right out of his hand. Arms rotate, legs rotate, and his head does the neck thing and then also rotates on top of that. So one, two, three, four, five, and six is what I'm counting that as. Let's give this Force Link a go. I'm K2SO. I'm a reprogrammed Imperial droid. <laughs> okay, then. I'm K2SO. I'm a reprogrammed Imperial droid. Congratulations. You are being rescued. I'm not very optimistic about our odds. Congratulations. You are being rescued. I'm Ooh, K2SO. Blast the sounds. I'm a reprogrammed Imperial droid. There are a lot of explosions for two people blending in. <laughs> I'm K2SO. I'm a reprogrammed Imperial droid. Congratulations. I'm K2SO. Okay. I'm a we get it. We get it. We get it. Let me hear the Moloch sounds. I'm K2SO. Yep, that's all he says. Alright, K2SO. So, if you already have the original K2SO from Rogue One, I would say this toy is a maybe. If you're a Force Link 2.0 collector, then, of course, get him. Why not? If you can find him, get him. Uh, these are showing up in stores now. I picked mine up at a Walmart, but not everywhere has them. It's kind of interesting. Um, I like him. I just don't know that I needed another K2SO in my life. So, he at this point, he's an extra. He's just like... But if I were to sell one, I would sell the older one and keep the newer one because he has the Force Link 2.0 capabilities he's slightly more detailed he's a little bit more lightweight than the other one the other one weighed a little bit more and the newer one's a bit lighter so i don't know if it's a change in the plastic or what but yeah uh, to me he's a thumbs up but not necessary does that make sense guys i want to know your thoughts what do you think do you already have the other k2so are you going to pick up this new one what do you think of this k2so do you like the character i love k2so he's one of the better droids we've seen i liked him more than i like l337 from solo so there's that. <sighs> All right, guys. After you've rated the video, you left your comments. If you haven't done so already, there's a little button down there. It's red. It's big and it's red, and it says subscribe. It might say subscribed if you've done so already, and thank you, by the way, if you have. But how about that bell? How about that bell to the side of it? Does it have, is it marked off? Did you already use the force on it? Because if you did, then you should be getting notifications. Should be. YouTube's weird. But you should be getting notifications every time I put out a brand new video. And get this. This has worked for some people who are already subscribed and already hit the button but don't get notifications. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe from the Dano channel. Do it. It's fine. I mean, you're going to come back in a minute. Unsubscribe. Wait a little bit. Maybe go to another page. Come back. And subscribe again and hit the bell again. And it should kind of reset the notifications. That way you will get notified every time I drop a brand new video. If you've been subscribed to the channel for a little while, maybe you didn't watch for a while, maybe you weren't into the dinosaur videos, it will stop notifying you if you don't watch. So it's good to re-subscribe, re-hit the bell, do that, or else K2SO will get you. Guys, if you're part of that squad, the ones who comment on all the vids, hang out in the group Discord chat for Sad Baby Squad, you're a member of the Sad Baby Squad. You get those notifications. You watch the vids. I appreciate you guys the most. And I want to put you in the vids. So if you have any clips, pictures, whatever, tag me on Instagram. Tag me on Twitter, at Daniel Flores. Use hashtag SadBabySquad. And I want to put you guys in the vids. That's it for now, though. I like I like this. I like, I like K2SO. He's great. But what would he say if it was time to go? He would say, may the Force have with you? Goodbye forever. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, subscribe. Join the Sad Baby Squad. Hit me up with your own clips, videos, whatever you guys are into. Fan artwork. I also have shirts and stuff available for sale. Hit those little links down below if you're at all interested. And that's it. Go watch another vid.